All right. Well, hey, everybody. It's Grim Green from GrimGreen.com back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again on Mod Monday, or should I say Mods Monday. What we're going to be talking about today, two mods from Smoke Tech, the R200, the R80. As you can kind of tell by the names, the R80 does 80 watts. The R200 does 200 watts. There's a couple more differences, but they're going to be going at it toe to toe. In order to get to know both of these just a little bit better, what we're going to do is go up close as we always do. Quick, short, uppy, closey time. Uh, I don't really want to do a double two. This has titanium, which is so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stick to the single toot on the TFV4 micro. All right, well, what we have here is the Smoke Tech R200, right there, R200. What we have here is the Smoke Tech R80. Now, both of these devices are the exact same size, exact same height, exact same width. Both have spring loaded 510s, both have clicky fire buttons here, both have clicky adjustment buttons here. The only difference is the Smoke Tech R80 right here runs on a LiPo pack and charges via USB. The R200 uses your own 18650 batteries. The USB is not for charging, it's just for updating your firmware. And this has an interesting little, uh, I don't know, I guess I'm gonna call it wonky design. To get your 18650s in, you basically just slide this off, and this is its own little separate thing that can fall and get lost somewhere. There's no sort of, I don't know, mechanism, like a, a spring or a thing to kind of hold this on. It just kind of falls apart. And the battery markings are on this part. You can see right here, positive, positive, negative, negative. So you have to think about how you're going to put this on. It's going to go like this. So you need to put the positive side up on this side and the positive side down on that side. And these holes here are vent holes on the bottom. You can see right there, there's a bunch of vent holes, vent holes, vent holes. And then you kind of have to use this to press the batteries down and uh, slide it on like that. And then it stays on and fires up. Now these both have the exact same display. It's going to tell you your wattage, it's going to tell you your resistance, and it's going to tell you your voltage on there as well. Three clicks gets you into the menu. One, two, three. There's the menu. One, two, three. There's the menu. They both have the exact same menu. You can set it from uh, temperature to wattage mode. You can tell it what kind of coil you're using as far as titanium, nickel, or stainless steel. You can adjust those TC settings. You can adjust the screen settings. You can adjust the puff settings. You can flip your screen around. This is the custom TCR mode, which I really could not care less about. You can put the dates, the time and dates on the screen as well. Then you can turn the whole thing off and then you go back to the beginning. So let's set this to temp mode and let's set this one to wattage mode. Perfect. So now that we're in temp mode on the R200, it's going to show you your temperature here, which you can adjust with these buttons. And it does sort of that, I don't know, round robin -y thing where when you get to the end of the Celsius, it switches over to Fahrenheit. I have this set on normal, and that's something that you adjust in the menu as well. You can set it on soft or light or normal or hard or strong. That just is for your ramp up time when you're using temperature control. Now the R80 claims to have a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. 4,000 milliamp hour. That is just insane to me. In TC mode, it'll fire down to a 0 0.06, and in regular wattage mode, it'll fire down to a 0 0.1. And like the name, the R80 has a maximum wattage output of 80 watts, whereas the R200 has a maximum output of 200 watts. Now, I think it's kind of a stretch, really, to get 200 watts out of a dual 18650 battery. I'm not P. Bissardo. I don't have graphs and spectrum and analytic and analyzers to hook this up to. So I'm not 100% sure if you're getting a full 200 watts. I rarely rock this above like maybe 130, maybe 140 watts at the absolute most. But it's the same thing on the R200. It fires down to a 0 0.06 in TC mode and a 0 0.1 in regular wattage mode. Now the R80 comes in a kit and it also comes with the Smoke Tech TFV4 Micro. And as you might assume from the name, it is a very 
very small version of the TFV4 tank. It's 22 millimeters in diameter and it has that same TFV4 top filling system where you can just bleh, spin that over, fill your juice in, close it back up. And yeah, it uses its own TFV4 micro coil heads. As you can see, this is a normal size TFV4 full size coil head. This is the micro coil head. So yeah, much, much smaller. Except if you'll notice, the juice flow holes, they're almost the same. The micro ones are just a touch smaller, but they're basically the same size juice flow holes. So yeah, these coil heads, they drink a lot of juice. Now the tank itself is only two and a half mils, but it does come with this little extender thingy right here and a slightly bigger glass tube to put on there. And you can make it a three and a half mil tank. You can add a full mil of juice by using this little upgrade kit. So all you do is take off your tank. We're gonna screw this little extension tube chimney on here. We're gonna pop the larger glass on there and now you have a slightly bigger TFV4 micro, which I guess is the same size now as the TFV4 mini. Yeah, sometimes some of the smoke tech products, eh, they get a little confusing. So yeah, not a whole heck of a lot to see up here. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna fill up this TFV4 micro tank. We're gonna get it back out to normal view. We're gonna vape these little guys. As time goes on, I get less and less impressed with the products that Smoke Tech releases. It's not that either of these are bad mods per se, they're just kind of boring. They're just kind of meh, just kind of humdrum, nothing original, nothing new, nothing innovative. As, as Phil would say, it's like a pack of cards. They're just, they're just boxes. They both have, like I said, clicky buttons. They both do the exact same thing. They'll do wattage mode. They'll do temperature, temperature control for nickel, titanium, and stainless steel. And they both include a TCR mode so you can do your own temperature coefficient rates, which I don't care. Look, temperature control, I've said this before. It's not my thing. I have the R80 running with uh, a, what is this? What is this? I sub apex tank with a titanium coil head in there. I have it set to 540 degrees titanium single coil. I have it on the normal setting as opposed to like the soft or the hard or the super hard or whatever settings they have in there. It's set to normal three or 300, 540 degrees, 0.36 ohms. Let's vape temperature control. Not horrible, but oh man, I just don't like it. Now, let's get over to the R200. This is the Smoke Tech Micro in big mode, which so weird, right? I Am I the only one that thinks that weird to have a Smoke Tech TFV4, a Smoke Tech TFV4 Mini, and then a Smoke Tech TFV4 Micro that you can convert into a Mini? What? 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 Why? Anyway, this is an actually a really good vape. These little mini micro TFV4 coil heads are really, really nice coil heads. This is 0.28 ohms. I have it set to 67 watts. The vape I'm getting right now, great. Just great. A lot of flavor, a lot of performance, crackles like a good tank should. Now, like I said, these devices aren't bad. They're just boring. I don't, there's nothing exciting about it. If I had no vape stuff, I don't even think I would be excited by this cube that's just boring and a square and buttons and it's the, it's just boring. So you're gonna need your vape budget hands for these? Nah, nah, not really. The R200 is only about 50 bucks, but you need to supply your own 18650 batteries. And the R80 is actually a little bit more expensive. They run about 60 to 65 bucks, but they come as a kit with a tank. So really, if you buy the Smoke Tech R80, it's the Smoke Tech Micro 180 Watt TC Starter Kit. That's the full name of the device, the Smoke Tech Micro 180 Watt TC Starter Kit. If you buy that 
all you need to buy is juice. You have a mod, you have battery on the inside, it comes with a tank, it comes with two coil heads, all you need to buy is juice. And for 60 bucks, I think that's kind of a really good place to start. Eh, it's kind of cool, it's just don't, don't expect to be really impressed by this. I mean, it's fine, and I'm not trying to like, you know, say that it's a crummy device because it's not. It works well. It does wattage and TC and all that good stuff. It's just, I don't know, it's very average. It's very mediocre. It's very boring. Smoke Tech makes boring mods. I'm on vaping. That's enough. Maybe you, you, bleh, bleh, bleh. Now the R80 also comes in a kit and it comes, okay. Now the R80 comes in a kit and it also comes with the smoke cat, what, 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 what is the smoke keck? Open it like this, you got a hole right there to bleh, dump your juice in and knock over your R80. I have the R, I have the text messages.